So today we're taking additional actions, including sending 5 million free rapid tests to schools each month, and providing another 5 million lab-based tests each month. These 10 million additional tests available each month will allow schools to double the volume of testing they were performing in November. The president is clear, the nation's schools can and should be open. And we have given state and local leaders the resources to ensure they can be open. Uh, and there is significant lab capacity uh, in this country. So we're working with schools to take advantage of the lab capacity that is open uh, in the country. CDC and uh, the Department of Ed are adding resources uh, to help schools identify testing providers and implement best practices. And the federal government is funding and strongly encouraging these testing programs. In total, the uh, 10 million additional tests that we'll send out each month will leverage existing contracting authorities at both HHS and CDC. And this will more than double the volume of testing uh, that took place across the nation last year. So now here we are, we have pediatric vaccination. One of the best things that we can do is get our children and our teenagers vaccinated. And then once we do so, practicing all those layered mitigation strategies, masking, we've seen three and a half times less likely to have schools have an outbreak if you're masking in those schools, um, as well as ventilation. And then of course, test to stray strategies, which these resources will really be helpful for.